Hey guys, so today I'm going to be looking at Home Records Reveal This Side of the Story. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. He asked me out before he started dating her and I said no for a bunch of reasons that had nothing to do with my feelings for him. They were together for almost two years and during that time we kept in touch. It was innocent enough, talking over Facebook once in a while, joking around and I would tell him funny stories about bad dates I was going on. One night we were both drunk texting and things got super super flirty. I realized that we were no longer talking as just friends. The next day I messaged him and told him this wasn't fair to his girlfriend and that we had to stop talking online. We stopped. Six months later saying that him and his girlfriend had broken up and asked me to hang out to catch up. I hadn't been sure if it was a date or not until he smooshed me. We were inseparable from that day on. Unfortunately, he had failed to tell me that he had literally broken up with his girlfriend the day before he called me and I got a reputation for breaking them up, which I kind of did, even though he never technically cheated. We're still together 10 years later and sadly, she still resents me for stealing him. And I know that she and her friends still think he cheated on her with me. I don't blame her though. I'd have been heartbroken if I was her and I still feel bad for how it played out. Oh, this wasn't really... Mm. That's so weird, honestly. So he had feelings for her before he started dating his girlfriend. And they still talked throughout that. Oh, that's kind of weird. <laughs> it's kind of just like you ask out your crush and then your crush says no. And then you start dating someone else, but then you still talk to your crush. That's kind of weird, isn't it? Well, I'm assuming he still had feelings for her during that whole time of dating his girlfriend because they got super flirty. And after he broke up with his girlfriend, he just made the move straight away to that friend. <sighs> and to the ex-girlfriend, no one can really steal your partner from you because your partner chooses to leave, okay? <laughs> like no one can really steal your partner if your partner didn't want to leave you, all right? That's how it works. One of my best friends was one. She met him at the coffee shop she worked at and he was a regular. She knew he was married because once in a while he would go there with his wife and kid. Well, one week his wife was away to see her parents with the kid and they started the affair. It lasted six years. She would tell me that he loved her more than his wife and that he kept promising that he would leave the wife. Five years into it, she gets pregnant and so does the wife. He starts pressuring my friend to get an abortion. She says no, that the baby is the product of their love. She has the baby and so does the wife. One year later, my friend is at work and she had the baby with her, who looks just like his dad. The guy and wife go in. The baby screams, Daddy! The wife gets confused until she really sees the baby and is a dead copy of her husband and her baby. She goes ballistic. My friend told me she did it on purpose since he wouldn't leave his wife. So she was forcing the wife to leave him so he would be with her. Well, the wife got a divorce, a huge settlement, and the guy resented my friend so much for what she did, he gave up his parental rights of the kid and moved across the country. I'm just so confused because they met at the coffee shop she works at and he brings his wife there, right? And he was having an affair with her, but he still brings his wife to the coffee shop. <laughs> what is going on? Like, why would you do that if you didn't want to get found out, right? Odd. Six years? It lasted six years? That's so long. Oh my gosh. So after six years, he still went to the same coffee shop with her? Okay. Okay. My sister is dead gorgeous and is a twice home wrecker. She really doesn't care. She sees it as if they're willing to cheat with me, they would have done it with someone else eventually if I wasn't around. I saved the wife time. She also slept with a long term ex after he got married just to know that she can. Wife never found out about that one. I love how she's trying to put it as she's the one doing good. Like, I saved the wife time, okay? I was just showing her that her husband is a jerk. If he was willing to cheat, then he was willing to cheat. <laughs> I mean, that's not wrong, but like, you're not that good either. Basically, a few years ago, my aunt goes to Las Vegas with a bunch of her friends. No one thinks much of it until she starts introducing us to her boyfriend, who I'll call D. We were happy for them and within a year, they're engaged and married. Pretty wild, but admittedly normal for my aunt. This is her third marriage. So D is actually Canadian, we're American, and has a five-year-old daughter back home. He only sees her a few times a year, and mostly his ex-girlfriend has custody. I thought there was nothing wrong with this whole story until my mum told me that the big wedding my aunt had with us was all fake. My aunt and D got married in Vegas before we even met him. 
Turns out D was about to get married to his girlfriend in Canada and was at his bachelor party in Vegas, got drunk and married my aunt and decided to leave his daughter and ex fiance in Canada for my aunt. Hold on a second, so he was supposed to get married to his ex fiance but then he was like, oh no, screw it. I'm just gonna marry someone else. I'm so confused. This is wild. Was sitting at work on my lunch break one day. Get a message from friend's husband. He's drunk and wants me to come over to mess around. So I remind him that I'm his wife's friend. Have never met him face to face and gave him the chance to tell his wife what just happened. Then I had to make a choice. Do I tell her or not? Because some people don't want to know. Or they blame you instead of blaming the significant other. Oh, that's honestly the worst. Send her a message and tell her that I have something to tell her about her husband. But I need to know if she wants to know or not. She says, send me everything. That night after work, she confronts him. He deleted the conversation, but I had sent her screenshots. They got divorced over it and other things too. And they have dual custody over their eight-year-old son. As for whether it was worth it or not, I feel like she and I are closer friends now, but I can't really say. No one seemed to come out on top with this one. True. This one just hurts everyone, honestly. Why is he so casual to send that, you know? Like he's drunk and he just sends the friend wanna come mess around? Like, it just sounds so casual. I got called one by the pissed off wife of the guy I dated for a few months. The problem was that was the first time I had no clue he was married. And if I had known before, then I would have broken it off immediately. Thinking back, I should have found it weird that he never invited me over to his place. But eh, but yeah, he was the homewrecker. He had a home and decided to screw it up by dating me. <laughs> yeah, he was the one who cheated. Honestly, I don't understand why they always blame the person they're cheating with instead of the person who's cheating, right? Like sometimes the people they're cheating with don't know the person is already dating someone or that they're married, you know? One of my friends was miserable in marriage. He married his high school sweetheart. One child, 15 years married. One day he meets someone 20 plus years younger than him at work and starts a side hustle. He tells his wife he is taking trips with me and lunches with me to distract. One day I get a call with a historical jilted wife asking me how long I knew of this sorted affair. I told her I had no idea, truthfully. They go to counselling, but he never wanted to stay married. So he began to groom his finances and other things to prepare to leave over the next year. He leaves her, and a year later he is married to the younger lady. A year after that and they have a baby, so I guess he is happy. He is 50 with a 28 year old wife and a new baby on family number 2. I stopped talking to him because I did not appreciate being the cover of a side hustle unknowingly. It's so sad that some people have to cheat instead of getting a divorce or just breaking up. You know, like save that time, please. So you guys can find the right person earlier. I started dating this guy I worked with and ended up moving in with him. I just graduated college and really wanted out of my parents' house. It was hard for me to adjust to living back at home. I couldn't find a decent job for months. Still didn't, I was working at a restaurant. Anyway, I lived with this guy for a few months and he goes back home to visit his family. Except he didn't. He went home to get married and then he came back and we went right back to living together. I heard rumors, sure, and when I confronted him about it, he gave me all sorts of excuses until he finally confirmed it. And then it was more excuses to keep me around. It was arranged. He didn't love her, blah, blah, blah. But eventually she tells him she wanted to come live with him. So she does. I'm kicked to the curb, bounced around for a bit. She hates it here and wants to go back home. So me being dumb, get asked to move back in. Now, at this point, when I look back at it, I try to be a little kinder to myself. I did, and ended up in a really low part of my life. He strung me along, saying he wanted to be with me, and told me he would break it off. He didn't. He exhibited a lot of abusive and controlling behavior during this time. Then, after almost three years of living together, he straight up ghosted me, left the country, when he was supposed to return. He just didn't. I went back to therapy, talked it out, and started working on the self-esteem problems and doing a lot of the abusive behavior he was displaying. I didn't do a great job. I went back to hooking up with another bad ex. Started talking more to an old hookup from school. That old hookup from school came to visit me. We reconnected and I moved four hours away from that situation to move in with him. I'm very lucky that I ended up with someone who was not only honest, hardworking, sweet and respectful, but willing to love me through all that. We got married two months ago. A happy ending. Well, whoa, well, Oh, okay. At first, they weren't the homewrecker, 
But then I guess, wait, who's really the homewrecker though? <laughs> like, mm, because he got married after dating her, but then she found out he was married, but she still decided to stay with him. Oh, I'm so confused. But I'm just happy there was a happy ending, honestly. Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.